amore, that's amore. Do 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 da 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 da. When you're in love, da da di, da da da, da da di, that's amore. It's pasta dills, not pizza. Dills is screaming out, can we do a pizza video? Because he loves pizza so much. We could really, couldn't we? Yeah. It'd be hard though, because you have to wait for the dough to rise and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, good evening, folks. Put your hot water on now. I've given you plenty of warnings. If you haven't done it, you're going to be behind. Over here, Dills, shiny look. Very simple. One pot boiling water, okay? That's all I want. You to get it on the go, give me a few minutes to catch up. Just in case, pasta, get rid of this here. Pasta carbonara. Okay, everybody always goes on about pasta carbonara, okay? Cream or no cream, there's no cream in it, but we're gonna do a version with cream because a lot of people are allergic to eggs. Um, and it's usually usually used with a piece of meat called the guanciale. And apologies to any Italians watching for my pronunciation, I'll probably murder that. But it was traditionally cured pork, as in pigs, cheek, or the jowls. Did you know that? No. There you go. Okay, we'd use it probably with, say, pancetta. If you can't get pancetta, we use these, show them here, shall I? Simple bacon lardons. And if you can't get the bacon lardons, the streaky rashers is perfect. Somebody asked me, I can't remember who, uh, could you use chicken? That's the beauty of cooking. You can use anything you want. Absolutely anything you want. Yes is the simple answer. Okay, big shout out first of all to Darren Rabbit. I know he's watching all these shows and really enjoying it. They're great. The guys come down to us every time in Trey Mosey Killarney, so great to have you watching, Darren. Hope you're gonna enjoy this one. Dills, you're in charge. You're getting, you know, you're getting very slack. You're getting very slack. Now you're not reading out the comments and you know I mean, the amount of money I pay you to do these things, do you know? Okay, first things first. Don't turn on your pans, okay? But I want you, I'm doing two types, okay? One without the cream and one with the cream. So I just want you to put the bacon lardons into a cold pan, leave it there so we can all catch up and everybody is on the same wavelength, okay? So let's just do that first. Throw this in the bin and then I'm gonna throw in spaghetti. Dills, you know the rules. If there's people looking to say hello, just say, Dad, shut up, say hi to this person, okay? Oh, well, you can say hi too, don't be afraid. David said hello from Dubai. Well, there's a first, David from Dubai. Thank you very much. Not David Daly by any chance, is it? Yeah. Oh, David Daly, my beloved wife's cousin. David, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, okay, I'm, I put down pasta carbonara. I was going to do spaghetti, and then I realized I didn't have spaghetti. I had linguine. That's the beauty of cooking. You can use anything, okay? So I'm using linguine. So we're going to throw it in. It takes about 10 or 12 minutes to, um, to cook. You look it on the packet, and you do it, whatever. Can I just say, champ, show me for one second. Never in my life, I don't know if I said this, did I say this already? I have never put oil into the pot and I have never put salt. My pasta never sticks and it's never tasteless, okay? So if you want to waste money on salt and oil, work away. I have never done that once. Loads of water, twist the pasta so it all falls out and I'm going to show you exactly what we do. Stick with the pot for a sec, shall I? Okay. So here's what I want you to do, right? Just get a fork or something like that and just separate everything into the pot, like so, and we're just gonna stir it, and that gets the water through it, and that way, pasta doesn't stick. How simple was that? Dills, you're in charge of flicking, see the way I come in here and look and learn something, will you? See the way, so just twist it like that, so the water gets through it, okay? We go back to that in 30 seconds. Everybody should have their pasta in the boiling water. Now, let me know if you're struggling, let me know if I'm talking too fast. Is that, is that why you showing me? Is it 300 odd watching that? Mm -hmm. Well. Okay, let's turn on our pans. Now I want you to start low heat, okay? Low heat, because we want to, what's known as render out the fat, okay? Turn this one down nice and low. Sometimes these get a bit too hot, I might have to take them off. Okay, so the first one here is the one with the eggs, right? With no cream. Let's prepare the one on the back with the cream. So just get an onion, guys. If you're not doing this version, that's fine. This will give us plenty of time to keep up. Dills, come back here and have a chat. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, it says shout out to Coco. Coco, my wonderful niece. How are you, darling? Up in Dublin. And Cuff and Yaz. And my sister, Ernie, everyone. Bin. Dills, you're slack. I'm telling you, you're slack. Slack today. So let's just slice a little bit of onion that we're going to throw into the other one. Okay, that's plenty. Let's just have it all ready. Dills, keep an eye on the time. What time do we say there? About seven or eight minutes past six, so we'll check that pasta shortly. 
Okay, uh, for this one here, I'm just gonna crack garlic and put it in to the pan with it, okay? I'm gonna put two big cloves in with it. Okay, crack, like so, and put it in. Yes, Dills? Marco Sullivan said hello from Sweden. Hello, Marco, an old schoolmate. Marco Sullivan, how are you doing, Sully? Great soccer player in his day. A bit like me, you wouldn't think it now, looking at the shape of me. But we had our day on the pitch, Sully, didn't we? Twist, Shotty, come over here, look. Okay, twist, 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 get the fork in there, separate all the pasta, and that way you're not wasting money on olive oil or any of that kind of stuff. Okay, that's gonna take its time. Do its little thing while it comes back up to boil. Now, we can turn them up just a little bit, Dills. The one in the back is going to be our one with cream. So I'm just gonna peel two or three cloves of garlic. Everybody with me so far? Anybody falling behind, Dills? Check on the comments. Nope. Anybody looking for a shout out? Jimmy says Katrina the Nolan's flat out. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy, you should be cooking this. Now, listen, Dills. Remember I told you, the food almost talks to you. So listen, listen, listen. You know what's coming up, Dills, don't you? Back of the knife. Let's crush. Okay, back of the knife. Crush our cloves of garlic. Now, there we go, there's our garlic, there's our onions ready for the one that we're gonna do. Our cream version, spread it out. Look at that now, Shani, see we put no oil, no fat, nothing into those pans and you can already see the oil beginning to render out. Stuart Campbell said hello from Liverpool Football Club. Ah, he's winding us up. Stuart Campbell, well hello, and I tell you what, you've just made Dills' day. Huh, told you you never know who's watching you. Okay, now, everyone's asking, mine always turns to scrambled eggs, mine splits, what am I doing wrong? I'm gonna show you very, very simply what we're doing wrong. We're gonna put two egg yolks into a bowl and all our grated cheese, okay? And I know there's an awful lot going in. If you're panicking, just turn the heat down in your pan a little bit. I can tell that one's getting pretty hot there already, so just turn it down a little bit. Zeus says, um, tell Paul to shout out uh, Lac Hotel, they tuned in. Oh, hello, Philippe, in Lac Hotel in Switzerland. Mon cousin, bonsoir, comment ça va? That's about all the French I speak. Isn't that right, Dels? Yeah. Yeah, tell them nothing. Okay, so we're perfectly nice and calm. So now, let's, they say you can put in the whole egg. I only put in the egg yolks. Okay, you can use up the whole, whole egg, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna crack in now, and we're gonna just separate very simply. It doesn't matter if a bit of egg white goes in, don't worry about it. Okay, one egg yolk. Maeve said, where's the grape juice? Right there, Maeve. Thank you very much. Where's your grape juice? Cheers to them all, Dills. Now, I wanna show you this little thing here, right? How to separate eggs. Crack, you saw me do that one there, right? So you just go from one shell, this is for the kids watching. And guys, I want you to remember this recipe, kids. Because when you go to college, and trust me you will, I know it's like a big school break now at the moment, but you will be going to college, this whole dish costs about three quid, okay? So look how easy that was. Here's another way. Put your spoon straight in, and just ooh, separate it like that. And here's another way. Kids, are you watching? I don't know if this is going to work. How's our pasta? There's one quick stir of the pasta. Look at that. Absolutely. How are we looking over there, buddy? Good? Yeah. Okay, and that is sizzling away nicely. I like it crispy, you don't have to get it crispy, but I like it crispy, okay? And kids, here we go, watch this one. No idea if it's gonna work. One empty bottle of water, squeeze it in, they'll say a prayer, and you just go, touch it onto the O. <laughs> it worked, there we go kids, that's how we do that. And then we throw in our egg yolk into that. Look at that, not a dills. Okay, into the sink. Great trick to do, kids. How to separate your yolks and your whites. Now, everybody all right, Shawnee? Nobody worried? Nobody falling behind already? Nope. All good, excellent. If you're doing this the way I'm doing it at home, lads, your kitchen should start to smell really nice. We're gonna be careful. We're not gonna put in salt yet, okay? And I tell you why. Because this is quite salty, the bacon, or if you're using pancetta, and also, our parmesan cheese is quite salty as well, okay? So how are we looking? I said, does I like it nice and crispy, don't we? Yeah, uh, can you use cream and eggs? 
Yeah, absolutely. You can, of course, and that'll, to be honest with you, that'll help it even stop splitting even more. Or put a little bit of creme fraiche in with the egg yolks if you want. That's no problems at all. And remember, guys, look at this. Get close up into the pan. Only we put no oil, nothing into those pans. That's just naturally coming out of the bacon lardons. Beautiful. Let's have one little quick check on my pasta. Check your pasta, guys. Okay, look at that. All nice. Beautifully cooking away, all nicely separated. James Daniel is falling behind. Well, James, go as fast as you can. And don't worry, guys, if you are falling behind, these videos stay up on the Facebook page. You can just relax, come back onto it anytime you want, and cook it at your own pace. Do it tomorrow, do it the next day, press pause. Or I'm putting them all up on, the, on YouTube as well, so you can see them all up there all the time. Now, a good carbonara has got plenty of pepper. Okay, so we're gonna whack in here, Dills. You get onto the kids, start cracking. Um, 27 twists, please, Dills. How many eggs? Two, two egg yolks. Oh, now he's waking up, Sean. He's got two egg yolks, buddy. Well done, Dills. How are we looking? Excellent. Now, and here's where people make huge mistake in their carbonara. They put the sauce into the pan. Okay, you can do it, but the pan needs to go really, really cold, or cool down an awful lot to stop it from turning into scrambled eggs, okay? So just be careful. That's why I'm gonna do it in the bowl, to make it as easy as possible for you guys so that it doesn't split or that it doesn't turn into scrambled eggs. Okay, if you're doing the cream version, right, throw in your onions and your garlic now. Okay, you should get, see there's a nice little bit of crisp flow onto that one? Beautiful. Throw in your, your onions and your garlic. Everyone all right, Shani? Mm-hmm. Bob, Bob said uh, we're the top crew. We're the top crew? Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Now, there we go, nice. So now you see we got the bacon starting and now the onions and the garlic are gonna soften in nicely. Now. For our sauce here, for the one without the cream, loads of grated parmesan, okay? So just start grating it all away. Dill's go give the pasta another little twist. That's all you need to do, guys. Just keep twisting the pasta, stirring it all up like that, and it's not gonna stick on you, and it's not gonna all lump together, and you don't waste all that oil. Now, so here we go. Look how much there I put in an absolute load of grated cheese, I don't know how many, we don't measure anything. If you're following us now, lads, for the last few days and few weeks, you'll realize we don't really measure anything when we're cooking here. Use your eye, that's when you're really cooking. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, so the difference with the cream one is, I've seasoned my sauce, that's going to be my sauce here for the one without the cream, so I need to season in the back here, okay? So we're gonna put in plenty of pepper. Stay away from the salt, guys. Trust me, the bacon and the Parmesan cheese is salty enough. Everybody okay and everybody keeping up? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. And the one with the cream, I'm just gonna put in a little bit of dried herbs, just a little bit of oregano dried herbs. Technically speaking, this isn't really a carbonara. It's a pasta with cream, but if we learnt nothing over the last couple of weeks, life is definitely way too short to be worrying about silly things like that. Okay, so our onions are softening. Look at this one here, beautiful. Do a little bit more heat onto that one there now. Beautiful. And the difference with this one, classically, I'm gonna take out the garlic cloves. That's infusing the bacon. Now, would you believe we're not a million miles off of kills, but you do know what's coming up? It's the sizzle dance. You ready, guys? A little bit of white wine. Ooh, yeah, it's the sizzle dance. Come on, deals. Do it once for me. Just do it once. Sizzle dance. Jesus Christ. You just can't get the staff. Kids, you can use. Somebody's going to ask me now. I don't drink. Can I use something else? Yes, brandy works just as well. You got that joke? Got that joke. Use a little bit of stock, or even just a little bit of water. But that takes everything up off, get in close to the pan on that one there, Shoney. That takes everything up off the pan, all the crusty bits, that's all flavor. And if you've learned, and been watching the few shows we've done already, guys, 
We want that to reduce, to really intensify in the flavor. So don't put in your cream just yet. Now, how are we looking, Dills? This is all looking very good. Beautiful. Our bacon is nearly there. And this is how simple, look at that, absolutely perfect. Not a million miles off serving our first one, guys. I'm gonna wash down two seconds, get you all to catch up. Everybody all right, everybody? Still on track? Yeah. Read out a few comments there, Dills. Anybody saying hello? Julian said, Marto, stick to your guns, Dills. He's unreal, Julian, I don't know. Can't get him, can't get him to do it. Okay, Shawnee, watch. Come over here to the pasta. My pasta is cooked. How do I know? Well, I can see, first of all, but pick it up. Don't be afraid. Be careful, guys. That's hot for you guys. Pick it up and try it. Beautiful. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to let you into a little secret. Everyone says your pasta must be al dente. I don't like al dente, al dente pasta. I know I've upset every Italian there as well, but I don't. I prefer cooked true. That's just me. But if you like it, that's fine. Our wine is nearly fully reduced. Now we're gonna add in our cream for our sauce. How much am I putting in there? I don't know. About 150 mils, not even. Probably about 100 mils, I'd say. And we're just gonna let that mix up, infuse up. Avine said that you're moving very fast. <sighs> Sorry, Avine, I'll slow it down for you. Sorry about that. Uh, now, look at that. Perfect, okay, I'm gonna bring the pasta over. That's hot, you guys be careful when you lift up a hot pot. We're well used to it. Okay, and now I am going to get a little bit more grated cheese. Hopefully guys, and make sure that I wanna see everyone's pictures. If you're making this, I wanna see you. The pictures, I wanna see you sitting down as a family or whoever's there eating together. Okay, send in the pictures, otherwise it feels like we're just talking to ourselves. At this stage, take out your cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna throw them there. Can you, can you use any other cheese instead of parmesan? Uh, you can. Look, if somebody asked me about can you use cheddar, it's not gonna work as well because that's nice and dry. Uh, you can use the parmesan reggiano, you can uh, use, use a hard uh, dry cheese, would be the best thing. Cheddar is too fatty and it's just, it's not gonna melt in as well. What were you gonna say there, Shani? Same one. Yeah, I'm turning off the heat in this one. Look at my one with the cream. Look at that. Beautiful, look at our sauce there. Absolutely fantastic. Now, here's where the panic stops. Okay, I'm going to take in a ladle, Dills, throw us over the ladle there. No, that's a spoon, ladle. And I'm gonna turn off the heat in my cream sauce. Look at that, guys, there, and I'll just show you the back of the cream sauce. That's the kind of consistency you should be getting, okay? That's what we're looking for. Now, I've turned off that, I've turned off that. A little bit of pasta water, okay? Just a little bit. And you're gonna see now, look at that, we're just gonna whisk up everything like that. And the heat from the pasta is gonna finish off cooking the egg yolk. So that's pretty much our sauce there, right? Here we go, in with our bacon. Okay guys, throw it in this way. Boom, all our bacon in. Boom, move a little bit quick this time. I can't slow for you now at the moment. Take in one handful of your pasta. Maybe a little bit more of our pasta. Okay, I'm doing it in the bowl, just so it cools it down just a little bit. And look at that, no cream, no nothing. And yet it's becoming nice and creamy. That's the emulsion of the water, the cheese, and the egg yolks. Perfect, that is number one, done. Here's my bowl. Here is my bowl, look at this. Let me know which one you prefer, guys. The classic or the one with the cream. Now, how easy was that? No scrambled eggs into the sink there, please, Dills. Gavin said he's miles behind. Any chance of a recap? <laughs> Good man, Gav. Uh, no. Press pause and come back to it. A little bit of cheese on it. Look at that. And remember what I keep telling you guys, always just a little bit of green on top. Changes the whole dish. And a little crack of the black peppercorn. Dills that frying pan over to the sink. This is what kids are here for, guys, to help us. Now, that's our first one. Classic carbonara. No scrambled eggs. 
Now, here we go on the next one. Look at our creamy sauce there. So I don't want any of the water from the pasta this time because that's only going to dilute my sauce. So put in with your tongs there. Drain it. So I hope, guys, these videos are some use to you. I know it's a bit of a distraction. We're having a bit of a laugh. I put them on at six o'clock so none of us are watching the news. Okay, we know what's going on. So a little bit of a flick. Beautiful. That's the creamy version, guys, where I put the tongs those in there. Grab that bowl on top of the egg there for me. Okay, mix it all up. Right on top of the dirt. Do you know what now? There'll be somebody. He just put that on a dirty board. What do you think of these people, Dills? We don't really give a damn. Because this is a. No, mum, so. Simple as that. No, mum, so. Sizzle dance, one chance. One last chance. Okay, right, here we go with the second one, guys. The cream. Actually, sorry now. I'm going to turn it this way. Put it on the dirty board myself. Now, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There's enough there now to feed a good, healthy farmer any day. Give him that for breakfast now in the morning, lads, and he won't be worried. Again, plenty of parmesan cheese on top. Beautiful. A quick twist of the black pepper. Beautiful. I want to see pictures, guys. Make sure you like the page. Make sure you show the videos. If you're having fun, tell as many people as you can because it's great getting so many people involved. Two little versions. The classic carbonara. No scrambled eggs on that one. Now you know how to do it. And one with cream sauce. Just as good, just as tasty. Butter, fantastic. You want to tell anything to your multitude of fans that you have now? No. No? You're going to eat, which one would you prefer? The classic. Shawnee, which one do you prefer? That one. The cream one. Big shout out to Sean, lads. Everyone, Dylan's getting all the attention because he's the guy in front of the camera. Couldn't be doing it if it wasn't for the guy behind the camera too, guys. Big shout out to Shawnee. Simple, guys. How long that take us? We're, we're only on 24 minutes and we've cooked two amazing dishes. If I'm going a bit too fast, just rewind. Just watch it again. It's up on the page. Cook it tomorrow. There's no rush on it as well. It's always going to be there. Do it at your own pace. Kids, here's what I want you thinking. It's simple to cook. It's great crack having cook, cooking away. Slag mom and dad. Tell them they're useless if they spill stuff. Tell them they're silly if they didn't do things right, okay? It's all about having a bit of crack, having a bit of interaction at home with your family, sitting down, talking about your day. We don't do it enough. Maybe we'll start doing a bit more now after this. Pasta carbonara. Use linguine, use spaghetti, use penne, use absolutely anything you want. Hope that's some use. Will we do it again, Bills? Yes. I don't know. I don't know if they want it. Like, I don't know if they really, are we talking to ourselves? How many people are watching this? Well, nobody, there's nobody watching this. We're talking to ourselves. Do you want us to go again? Let us know. Tell us, tell us, tell us. And most importantly, guys, what do we want to see from them? Pictures. Big pictures. Guys, we're getting a huge amount of people saying hi. Hello to everybody. We couldn't be doing it if it wasn't for you guys. Hope it's a bit of crack. That's it, we're gonna eat because our food's gone cold, isn't it? Which one are you gonna to give to mom? Need Mom's watching this. Guys, enjoy the pasta carbonara. Let us know how you got on. Dills, it's... I mean, <laughs> you, you've got one. Okay, so pretend there's nobody watching, right? We're going to work on this, right? So you say it's good night from me, and I say, and it's good night from him. Good night from me. And good night from him. See you soon, guys. Put on the notifications on our page. We put up all kinds of crap at all, any time of the day. Different videos. Put on the notifications so you don't miss a damn thing. Dills, we nailed it again, buddy. And you didn't have to play the squeeze box tonight. See you soon, guys. I want to see those pictures. Bye.